Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's Draw With Me video. I am doing a sequel to my Mushroom Hunters piece which is all autumn themed because we are just going into autumn now and it is one of my favourite seasons. As you can see I've done some thumbnail sketches and this was just for me to work out the composition of the piece. And then I've sketched it out here and this was just because um, every time I was sketching just for some reason it just wasn't comfortable uh, with the way it was laid out. So after about three or four attempts this was my finalised sketch that I did and what I am using to ink is the Sakura Flexible I believe. Yeah, it's a, it's a Sakura um, pen and I used a Zig Cartoonist pen as well and this was just to get different shades of brown in there. So, yeah, I love doing these characters, I've decided, and if you guys would like to see in the future more illustrations with these characters, please let me know. I mean, after you really warmly responded to my previous piece, and as I was doing like work in progress pieces of this on Instagram and Twitter, um, you really seem to like these characters and that's fantastic because I'm really enjoying drawing them. Um, at the moment there's not much of a story to them. I kind of would like to do a children's book story style illustration with these. And it's simply because I really like old style animation where the backgrounds are really painted but the character has been done with self-shaded um, almost colouring to it just to make them pop against the painted background and I absolutely love doing this style of illustration and this year I said to myself I really wanted to update my portfolio and include a series of illustration uh, which would follow along this and I had a lot of fun drawing this it was just so much fun I like doing really over detailed backgrounds simply because I'm not used to doing them I don't like doing them all the time but when I do backgrounds I really like to over detail them just so you can get a really good composition in the piece so the whole idea with this is, is as if they have finished in the cave and they are now walking to take the goods home that they, you know they've managed to get everything they need to do um there are bits in this piece that i really like and there are bits that i don't like i think the way her legs are positioned it makes her back leg look really really short and that's because i've done a bend in the leg i think if i position the skirt differently and had it so it showed the fold a bit more if i put the back leg a little further back it would make the front leg not look so long and silly and this is something that i realized after i pretty much finished the piece and i was like oh goodness sake um and it can be something that i will probably fix in photoshop um, for a portfolio or if i wanted to do a book with this it would be definitely something i would like to fix in the future so the color scheme with this i wanted very very warm colors because autumn is one of my favorite seasons i love seeing how all the colors change and um how everything seems to just feel really warm and inviting despite it being chilly and i love it so much um it is my favorite season mainly because of the colors and because i like when you're walking in the leaves and it makes a crunching noise <laughs> so uh, equipment used in this piece, as I will get asked, is the Zig uh, Fine Liner Multi Liner, uh, the Sakura uh, Multi Liner, the Windsor Newton uh, Cotman Half Pan Watercolor Set. I do have some extra colors that I did purchase for this. Um, Pro Markers, both the original Letch Set Pro Marker range and the Windsor and Newton range. Um, and of course my Sigma uh, white jelly roll. This piece took an awful long time to do which is why this video is a little bit longer uh, than normal. Um, there's a clip of Bella, hello she was a sleepy kitty while I was drawing. <laughs> Left what share because some people ask about her in the videos. <laughs> Yeah, the, it took an awful long time to do it and this was because I was working on the YouTube Artist Collective piece as well because I'm trying to do a backlog of videos at the moment and 
it took I'd say probably about nine hours in total and this was on and off filming on different days and uh, the line work probably took the longest at about five hours um, and it's just because I really enjoy doing line work and I tend to really over detail on my lines which is why in some of my sketchbook pieces you'll notice I've tried to be really loose with it and this is just to try and create more expressive pieces um, I think what I want to do with illustration like this in the future is I always want to create a sense of movement like the reason why I like this piece is because I like the fact that it looks like she's walking it looks like she's moving um, ah yes since I got asked a lot in the previous video this blue fluid is frisk masking fluid um, what it basically does is it blocks out what area you do not want to be covered in paint so this will later then get peeled off so then um, after the background has been done and this whole thing protects the layer underneath now I absolutely love this because the reason why I like the blue stuff more than I do it, uh, the white is because I can actually see it on my paper um, and it stands out very nicely and I think it works extremely well so I've started on the background and it took it took a while for the background to be done and this was because it was just about layering and layering the colors again and again and again I think probably what I would do if I was to redo this piece is I would desaturate the background more so then the character would stand out in the front um, but I kind of like how rich the background turned out to be and with the character as bright as she is as well and this is because it helped the colors blend better it looked more believable but the reason why I would desaturate the background um, is just so that she would stand out more um, but I genuinely was very very happy with my color choice I did do a few color swatches beforehand to try and figure out um, what I wanted but I tried to keep the colors as similar um, to an autumn like scenery as I could <laughs> while well, trying to keep a almost like a fantasy element to it um no the the more the most thing that took the longest with this is just about patience and waiting for stuff to dry and I don't like waiting for stuff to dry and you may see every now and again I'm taking this white block and I'm rubbing the edges with uh, this white block and this is called a magic eraser I got this in a oh my gosh art and parcel pack a while ago uh, which was like a subscription box and art and parcel is run by um, a art store in Manchester in the UK and they um, are really really lovely I get my sketch uh, cachette set sketchbooks from them you know the Dale Roundy ones um, but I ordered one a while back and I meant to do a video on it and the video quality was just awful so I didn't end up putting it up at all but I would love to get one of these boxes or an art subscription box again because it was nice to get all this equipment that I'd never used before but this sort of like a magic eraser what you do is you wet the you wet the sponge and you rub it out on the watercolor area and it basically removes that watercolor from there um, and I've been using it on and off to fix any like splodges or mistakes I've made and it's absolutely fantastic and I don't know the brand I couldn't tell you because when I got it it didn't have any indication of what brand it was I just really enjoyed using it so what do you guys think of like these full illustration pieces do you much prefer them over like the simpler character design pieces I've done I mean I don't want to do them all the time because they do take an awful long time to do and I have to be in a general mood to do them. I am in the mood right now and I am very very I am really looking forward to doing more um, of this sort of illustration but sometimes I won't have time to do stuff like this all the time but I really do like how this turns out and I do like being able to do pieces like this because I just think it's more inviting and more eye-catching especially towards you guys like you get to see a progress of a piece i would consider doing for a storybook illustration 
Um, so I want to know what your your thoughts are on it, really, and see what you guys think of. Would you like to see more like this? Um, are you okay with me mixing it up and doing some simple videos sometimes and more complicated ones like this one in the future? Um, I am wanting to do some digital pieces, which I understand not everyone will be a fan of, um, but it's mainly so I can get prints done because I have a convention, well, a lot of conventions coming up. Um, my last few conventions for the year and if you want to know what conventions I'm doing I have a post on Twitter and I have a post on Instagram showing exactly what conventions I'm doing I've got Scotland Expo in a few weeks um, I've got Geek Fest York I've got um, London Comic Con I'll be going to London Comic Con I'll also be do. I'll be at Fort Bubble um, I won't be selling unfortunately because I didn't manage to get a table but I will see if there's any last minute cancellations and try again. Um, if not, I'm still attending because I absolutely love Fort Bubble. Um, I'll be doing Doki Doki and I've got one more convention. Oh my goodness, I cannot remember off the top of my head, but there is a list up on there anyway. Um, just as a heads up as well, I uh, for October, I am theming all of my videos against my favorite holiday and you can probably guess what that holiday is <laughs> so be prepared for everything to be spookified next month i am very excited for that so if you guys have any suggestions for any spooky designs especially for the two minute videos please 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 give me your suggestions i already know what i'm doing for my next draw with me and i'm very excited to do it um uh, but I just kind of want to know what your guys' suggestions are. Yeah, have you guys ever done like storybook illustrations? Is it something that you're interested in? You know, let me know in the comments down below. I really, really want to do a children's storybook. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for quite a while. Uh, I would love to create a story with these guys, and like I'd do it where they were uh, just almost like a family of hunters and they all hunt different things for their village and I kind of like the whole idea of creating a story behind an illustration um, and this is just because when I was at university it's the kind of thing that we would do and I've been out of university now for four years and I would really really like to get back to doing this sort of stuff because I enjoy having a story behind an illustration I think it means so much more um, than just drawing something simple. <laughs> I hope you kind of get what I mean with that. <laughs> so you can see here I'm basically building up colours and um, using uh, my WH Smith pencils uh, to create softer shading uh, against my really bright vibrant pro markers. Um, I just i've fallen in love with these characters and you will see them definitely in the future i'm thinking maybe doing a winter piece as well um would you guys like to see that would that be something you'd be interested in uh, i kind of want to do like loads of different types of illustration with these characters i just think it's a lot of fun to create more and more illustrations behind them and almost create like a picture book for them so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video, I really enjoy drawing this, um, I really want to do more of this characters in the future in case you can't tell. <laughs> um, if you guys like it please leave a comment down below, uh, maybe like the video if you liked the content, you don't have to if you don't want to. If you wish to see more stuff like this from me, um, maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, there is one more video coming this week and it is the YouTube Artist Collective and I'm very excited to also share that with you as well and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and as always, stay creative. <laughs>